What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a review and a first impressions about a new L'Oreal product that just launched. These are the Infallible Lip Paints. These are described online as a liquid lipstick. L'Oreal came out with 14 shades and they're supposed to be long wearing, smudge proof, waterproof. These look so similar to the Color Jolt release last year from Maybelline. Um, they are a little different. They do have a wand applicator versus the Maybelline ones that have the um, like the spongy squeezy applicator. There are some really basic colors like nudes and pinks like this and then you have your super crazy colors like deep purples and teals so I think that's a really cool thing. I love how the drugstore is trying really hard to come out with things that you see at Sephora and at beauty counters and stuff because even if we're on a budget, we still want to be on trend. There are 14 shades in this line, and right now I'm just going to swatch all of them on the lips, and then I will tell you my final thoughts about this brand new launch. So I'm really excited to bring this to you, and I hope you enjoy. So the packaging is this little like squeezy thing at the bottom, and then it has the long applicator here. When you unscrew it, it actually comes out with an applicator. The applicator itself has a dip in it to make application super easy. You get 0.27 fluid ounces in here so I'm gonna go ahead and start swatching this is number 300 lilac lust I love this shade it's super different they are super pigmented from the get-go they glided on super easy with the wand they feel so much like the infallible pro matte gloss that launched last year it has that kind of movable texture to it and it has the same stickiness where it's not like super gloppy and sticky but it definitely has some weight to it it smells exactly like their classic lipsticks in the gold tube just amped up a ton next up we have number 302 violet twist really didn't go on completely opaque and completely smooth but the color is really pretty and once you build it up it is like a super cool statement next up I have bewitching Bordeaux which is number 304 it's a super deep brown vampy shade This one definitely is very similar to the previous one, but it has more of that blood red in it instead of just straight purple. I'm interested to see if it's a common theme for the darker shades to be more patchy and harder to go on, which is generally how lipsticks work. Next, we have number 306, which is Demineering Teal. I love that really bold lip colors are becoming so mainstream now it used to be weird to even think about wearing a black lipstick now you can do really whatever you want and nobody even looks twice yeah it seems like the lighter shades are way way more just straight up better <laughs> the way that they come on like all the shades are so beautiful in color but the lighter shades are just easier to work with you know what i mean i think this is a pretty versatile product you could definitely blot it and then have it become a matte Next we have number 308, Navy Spy. That's so cute. So this is number 308, Navy Spy. This is such a cool shade. Oh my god. It makes my teeth look whiter too. Ha ha ha. Next we have number 310, Topeless. It's a cute name as well. The name, whoever's naming these, like, they deserve a raise. This is my favorite for application so far. This one just glided on with no effort at all. Um, it definitely remains true that the lighter shades are way easier to work with, but that's, you know, if you want an interesting shade like that, it's not that big of a deal to build them up. You know what I mean? But if I'm going to be really into the nitty gritty, like what's good, what's bad, the light shades are one swipe. The dark shades you do have to build up. Next we have 312 Nude Stare. I feel like this one reminds me so much of the Maybelline Color Jewel, the one in like stripped down or something, whatever the nude shade is. Number 314, Spicy Blush. Number 
Number 316, Wild Rose. Number 318, Fearless Fuchsia. Number 320, Cool Coral. Number 322, Orange and Me. Number 324, DIY Red. Number 326, Sultry Sangria. Alright, so I just finished swatching all 14 of the shades on my lips, and I have some final thoughts about it, so let's get right into that. So to begin, the shades are absolutely beautiful. There are so many great shades. There's so many shades that haven't been at the drugstore before, like this um, crazy teal, and you get two shades of orange. You get a light one and a dark one, depending on your skin tone. I feel like it's such a great line, and even beyond the crazy shades, there are obviously shades that you could use on an everyday basis, pinks, reds, nudes, etc. I really do love the idea of this, where it is actually marked as a liquid lipstick because they have had glosses before at the drugstore that are just that they are glosses and they perform sort of like a liquid lipstick but they're not quite the same I like the idea of this lip paint these are very similar to Maybelline's color jolts which obviously L'Oreal and Maybelline are under the same umbrella so they are going to have similar products but I prefer these because I like having the wand applicator. The L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paint are very comparable to the Too Faced Melted Lipstick in the fact that they are just that melted lipstick that is in liquid form and it comes out with the sheen of a lipstick and the beautiful color selection and the texture of a lipstick when it's on your lips. It kind of has a slip to it. I did love the range of shades that they had. They did come out with so many at once which is nice because sometimes with a new lip line they will only come out with um, a few shades. This line is permanent as far as I know. Um, I haven't seen anywhere that says it's limited edition So if you don't get your hands on these right away, it's not the end of the world because they're probably gonna come out with more um, But I do definitely think this is a good line. I do have a very strong fragrance They smell exactly like the L'Oreal lipsticks in the gold tube So if that scent bothers you, you're not gonna like the smell of these, but I personally like that scent. I like when brands have a signature scent like Maybelline's lipsticks all smell the same, L'Oreal's lipsticks all smell the same, so I do like the fact that it remains uh, true to that instead of coming out with something new because, I, f I don't know, I feel like that's just something so unique to every brand they have their scent. Light colors, definitely swatch more opaque and definitely wear uh, more evenly all the way across with one swipe application. The dark shades, without a doubt, you have to build up but they are buildable enough that you can and they don't ball up weird or they don't become gloppy or anything. If you let the layers dry and blot it enough, they're gonna wear fine and you can build them up. The light shades swatch perfectly with one swipe. The dark shades are a little more high maintenance. So honestly, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like I don't think it's like, oh, a deal breaker, I don't wanna buy it because of that. But it is something worth noting that the dark shades, you're gonna swatch them and be like, what the heck is this? Why did I just pay for something that's patchy? You do have to build it up. But with the shade selection, and if you're looking for a drugstore priced product, that's definitely worth it to me. I really do like this line a lot. I'm really, really happy that I have them. I'm gonna be reaching for these a ton. The colors are so pretty and they're they are not sheer by any means at all. I hope you enjoyed my swatches and my review. And are you going to be picking these up? Let me know. I hope you do because I really do like this new line from L'Oreal. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have an amazing day. Peace out.